Imagine it's your job to fight a disease that has plagued humanity for over 3,000 years. A disease that has the ability to ruin lives, deepen poverty, and to incapacitate entire villages. More than 3.5 million people in Asia and Africa alone are infected, and there is no cure. Meet the Carter Center's Dr. Donald Hopkins, one of the influence masters we studied in our research for the book Influencer, The Power to Change Anything. For the past 20 years, Dr. Hopkins has waged a war against the guinea worm, the world's largest and most noxious human parasite. Guinea worm disease is a, uh, a parasitic infection that in years past affected uh, up to 20, 40, 60 or more percent of a village's population at the same time. It involves three foot long worms that uh, people get by drinking microscopic forms of the worms in open sources of drinking water that have been contaminated, such as from open ponds, for example. A year later, these three foot long worms, about the width of a thin strand of spaghetti, emerge through the skin on any part of the body very slowly. They, uh, an individual worm uh, incapacitates an individual for periods averaging two to three months. Averaging two to three months. People may have more than one worm. This infection then would keep people from being able to farm, keep children from being able to walk to school, keep parents from being able to run after their toddlers. And depending on where this worm uh, would come out, it might kill you. The only weapon Dr. Hopkins has in the battle against the guinea worm is his ability to influence others to change how they behave. Some people said, but before you do this, this is healthy. First of all, they said, you don't have a vaccine and uh, you don't have a treatment. This is behavioral change. You're not going to be able to get these people to change their behavior in any reasonable, you know, short uh, period of time. But Dr. Hopkins has been able to do just that. Through influencing others to change their behavior, he and his team have eradicated the disease in more than half of the previously suffering countries. When the Carter Center began working on this problem in 1986, there were an estimated three and a half million uh, people uh, infected around the world, mainly in, in, in well, entirely in Asia and Africa. As of the end of 2005, we're down to just over 10,000 cases remaining, and 11 of the 20 countries have already broken transmission. Dr. Hopkins and his team have reduced the number of new cases by 99.7% and are on track to completely wipe out the disease by 2009. Dr. Donald Hopkins is an influencer. Are you?